Dr. Fraser. Dr. Fraser. Dr. Fraser. How much oxygen is he on? It's on 10 litres. What's his BP? Uh, 200 over 110. OK, I've organised a bit for him in ICU as soon as he finished with the CT scan. What's wrong with him? What's the matter with him? What's going on? Where, where is he going? The emergency team are taking him down to X-ray. I was just talking to him five minutes ago and he was fine. Well, we found him unconscious and we called the emergency team straight away. Doctors will be able to tell you more after he's had his scan. No, no, you're not telling me anything. I want to know what is going on. I've spoken to Professor Dunstan. He's on his way over from theatre. He thinks he's had an intracerebral bleed. We had to intubate him in x-ray because he stopped breathing. Do you think he'll need further surgery? Probably not. But either way, it doesn't look good. One of the doctors should be out soon. I've had some lunch, Irene. Oh, no, thanks, Dal. I've already eaten, but I'll tell you what, I would murder a coffee. Irene, thank goodness you're here. Irene, it's Lockie. Well, well, what? What's happened? Chloe's been trying to phone you. Something's happened to Lockie. I, I couldn't understand everything she was saying, but uh, apparently he's in a coma. Oh, God. What's the number, love? There's a call for you. It's all right, I'll watch her. Hello? Love, it, it, it's me. Um, are you all right? What's happened? Well, like he's in a coma, they think he may have brain damage. Well, I mean, well, was it an accident? Or, uh, I mean, what? No, it wasn't anything like that. They, they don't really know why. But, Love, the doctors must know something, surely. I mean, look, I, I can't take this phone for too long. Can you come here? Yeah, love, of course I can. I'll be there real soon. Can you do me another favour as well? Yeah, love, what? Anything. Can you call Diana for me? I, um... She doesn't know yet. I just don't think that I can. Yeah, love, of course I will. Look, don't you worry about a thing. I'll be there as soon as I can. What did she say? I think he's got brain damage. You ready for lunch? Oh, I'm starving. What's with the long faces? Trav, it's Lockie. Hey, it's the Salmeister. On a bad day, it's the Sal Monster. What yeah, about Lockie? What about him? Well, he's in a coma. They think he might be brain damaged. Has anyone been to see you yet? They told you what happened? Yeah, they said he had a, a cerebral something, um... Hemorrhage? Yeah. No, oh, I don't know. I can't remember. She's not a doctor. You can't expect her to remember. Have you seen him yet? I've been waiting here all day. I'll go see what I can find out. Diana. When did it happen, this cerebral something or other? This morning. And perhaps you can tell me why it took so long for me to find out. And why I'd hear it from that oafish Irene woman. Does it really matter who told you? Yes, 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 it does. And you still haven't told me why I wasn't notified immediately. And again, I'm always the last to know about everything. The last to know about the operation, last to know about this. I could have done something to help him. Then maybe none of this would have happened. You've always done your best to exclude me from my son's life. But I'm not just going to stand by and let that happen. Do you understand? Lucky surgeon is coming to see us. We should have some answers soon. Diana, come and sit down. This is unbelievable. Why are we being made to wait out here? Hello, Chloe. Ah, doctors. And you know who we are? We would like to know what is going on. I'm afraid Chloe has not been able to give us any useful information. Uh, of course. Earlier today, your son suffered an intracerebral bleed, which has left him in a coma. Now, his, his CT scan clearly shows that he's suffered a hemorrhage deep in the basal ganglion. 
At present, he's being monitored, and he'll be kept on a ventilator until he starts to wake up. At the moment, there's no way of being sure whether there'll be any lasting brain damage. I would like to see my son. Yes, of course. But uh, I would ask that only two go in at a time. Oh, my baby. Friends are here, Chloe. Don't worry, I'll be right here. Good night, Lush. Oh, darling. Now, um, I brought you some clothes and stuff. Um, I, I didn't know if you had time to bring anything. And, um, Al's going to try and organise a place for us to stay tonight, okay? Are you all right? So you all have to mark in the same room over that line. Oh, not at all. That's great, Al. Thanks. Just make sure she gets there. Anyway, I might head back to the bar if there's nothing else you want me to do. No, no, you've done enough, love. Thanks. You go on home. We'll be fine. Okay. Oh, God save us. I didn't even realise I'd nodded off. Shh. Oh, love. Come on. Should go. You need some proper rest and so does Olivia. Love, come on. We can't stay here all night. surgeon in the state would be able to take an educated guess. He just doesn't want to give him hopes. If you don't have hopes. The thing is, nobody knows Lockie the way that I do, okay? He, they don't know how tough he is. They don't know how strong he is. He'll get over this. He wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, there you are. Have you no mind? Couldn't bear seeing him so neglected. Always were the best looking boy in class, weren't you, darling? Must we have so many people here? This is intensive care. There are rules, you know. Maybe we should um, go outside for a while. Rebecca, no one is getting in the way here. We're here to support Chloe. Yeah, but still rules are rules, are we? Come on, let's just take a break. Right. Suppose I can do with a leg stretch. Far away. God save us! Where does that woman get off? Who, oh, Diana? What gives her the right to speak to people like that? Really, Irene, I think under the circumstances. Oh, circumstances, my foot, Alice. It's just the way she is. Anyway, she's not the only person suffering. Ah, oh, settle down, Irene. It's water off a duck's. Honestly, if that was your child in there, how do you think you'd be feeling? Am I killing someone? 
How's Chloe bearing up? A lot better than I thought she would. Yeah, a little too well, if you ask me. Really, I think so. I had a chat with her in the cafeteria, and it's just like talking to someone inside a bubble. She just won't accept how serious this thing really is. Well, you don't want to think he's on death's door, do you? No, of course not, but she just thinks that, like, he's going to wake up and everything's going to be back to normal. When she realises that's not going to happen. You might as well go, too. Lachlan doesn't need both of us here. Then leave, because I'm not going anywhere. What makes you think you have rights to my son? Any rights at all? I'm the mother of his child. Oh, yes. And don't you think for a moment you'd be here if it wasn't for that? A good-looking boy like Lachlan is always prey to little wannabes like you. As long as you kept them all to yourself, that's what you thought, wasn't it? As long as you kept them away from the family, that's all that mattered to you. The calculating, manipulative little ones. Nobody. Look what you've done. Look at what I've done! There must have been warning signs. If we'd seen him, if we'd known, we could have done something to help. We are doctors. We could have helped him. But you had to keep him all to yourself. You're to blame for what's happened. I hope you choke on that for the rest of your life. Yeah, well, don't you go worrying about this little one. You just keep your own strings up. You'll be in touch. Chloe. Oh, I have a word with you, please. Would I be correct in assuming that uh, you and Lachlan are not actually married? Oh, come on. You know we are not married. Oh, well, I just thought you'd ask. I seem to be the last to know what is happening to my son's wife. Well, anyway, uh, as you are not married, and as you haven't been living long enough together to establish de facto status, that actually means that you have no legal rights in relation to my son. What are you saying? Legally, I am his next of kin, and you are nothing at all. How dare she? But surely that can't be right. You live with Lockie, you have a child together. Apparently that doesn't count for anything else. Dana's name's down on Lockie's admission form as the next of kin. Why the hell would he do that? Force of habit. Lum, tell me exactly what she said to you. She said that the hospital's agreed that she's going to be making all the decisions regarding Lockie's care. I don't get a say in anything. She's always wanted me out of his life, looks like she's fun going. Yeah, well, over my dead body. She might be his mother, but that woman ought to be locked up. Come on. Oh, back to the snake pit, is it? Save your insults, Irene. They mean nothing to me. My son is in a coma, and I will do everything I have to to ensure that any decisions that are made are made with his best interest in mind. What, and you don't think that I would do the same? Frankly, I haven't given it much thought. You know we're not going to let you get away with this, don't you? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm afraid there's nothing you can do. You see, my dear, if you're going to snare yourself a rich husband, you really should make sure that he marries you. Can't shut me out, Diana. I will not let you. I wouldn't dream of shutting you out. You can still sit with him if you want to. Oh, look, uh, I have things I have to do. If you want to contact me, I'll be on my mobile. Come on, love. Come on, go in. Back in a minute. There you are, wondering what happened to you. Are you okay? Is he awake? No, he's still the same. It's all right. He already woke up once this morning. What? For how long? Not long. I was just watching Irene leave, and then I looked back down, and Lockie was just staring back at me. Yeah, he didn't speak. He just rolled back over and went back to sleep. Why didn't you say something? That was a secret. But I heard you say this is amazing. It means that it's going to be okay. It's a sign. I know, I know. I, I just, I, I'm too scared to believe it. You better start believing. I you, Lockie. Hey, Lockie, it's Chloe. Look. I, I don't think he can hear you. Lockie, wake up. Lockie, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. It's okay, love. It's okay. It was just a dream. Just as you wake up. It was funky and funky. Oh, well, it was just a dream. I know, I really never gonna wake up. <laughs>
<laughs> I wondered where you'd got to. I haven't been able to stop crying since last night. It's like it's just suddenly hit me. Well, you've been doing a pretty good job at holding back the floodgates. I wondered how long it'd last. Oh, love, don't say that. Never's a long time, you know. It's been too long. Maybe, maybe if he'd woken up by now, but... Come on, love. There's always hope. Marie, there's been too much damage. He will never, ever be able to work as a doctor again. No, everything that he's trained for all his life. Hi. He's triggering the ventilator on his own, so that's good. But no other changes, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's fine going. Good day, Dar. How you feeling today, eh? You gonna wake up and talk to us? Silly darling, I'm not leaving. You've got nothing better to do with me time. Besides, give me a chance to catch up on me shorthand. Anyway, I want to be here when Lockie wakes up. I wouldn't miss that for quids. Carl, why don't you talk to me, mate? He needs to hear your voice. Do you think he can hear me if I talk to him? There's every chance he can. Plenty of kind of patients seem to respond to things going on around them. Pointless. Well, not if it helps. It certainly won't hurt. I had a really bad dream last night. It won't be. Everything's in such a nightmare at the moment. It just doesn't matter whether I'm awake or asleep. It's all just unbearable. this have to happen to us? You know, we didn't do anything to cause this. It's not like we were driving like maniacs when we had an accident. Why'd this have to happen to you? Just when everything was going so well. Don't leave me alone like this, Lucky. Leave me here because I need you. And Olivia needs you. Because she needs to have a dad. Please don't leave me here. Please. Just give me a kiss and, and tell me that it's just a bad dream and that we're just going to wake up and everything's going to be fine. Please, Lucky. Please don't leave me here alone. <laughs> well, he had a stroke two years ago and he's been for some more tests. He's only got partial movement down his right side and he sometimes has trouble getting out the right words. But we understand each other, don't we, Mr Johnson? Yeah, yes. Anyway, I better get going. Thanks, Helen. Mr Johnson, I just have to let the unit man manager know where I am. Are you okay for a minute? Stroke, did you? Yeah, yes. My um, husband's in intensive care. He had a brain tumor removed, but something went wrong. I think it was like a stroke. So you had yours two years ago? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. So, um, You've had lots of therapy since then. They've helped you get back on track. Uh, yes, yeah, just marvellous. So how long was it then until you could talk again properly? Uh, uh, 
Uh, uh, what, a month? Y yes, yes. Six months? That's Six. That's five. Well, please, love, look, uh, we're going to go and grab a coffee. You coming? Tidy, come on, love, please. He's been in therapy for two years, Colin. Look, love, it's, it's horses for courses, you know. I mean, just because one person doesn't make a full recovery, it doesn't mean to say another person won't. Yeah, I mean, look at Pippa now. You'd never even know she was sick. Well, guys, I know what you're trying to do. I, I appreciate it, I really do. But look, look, let's just face it, Lockie's never going to recover properly, so... Chloe, don't talk like that. You can't give up hope now. Oh, no, Liz, love. Look, she's right. Maybe we've got a face fax here. Well, chances are, look, he's not going to come through this 100%. And if that happens, love, it's going to be so very hard on you. And it's going to be hard on little Olivia, too. But the important thing to remember is that we're all here for you, aren't we, Matt? Every single one of us. He's starting to respond. He squeezed my hand. Fucking, can you hear me? It's me, it's Chloe. Can you squeeze my hand? Couldn't you reach it? I'll, um, I'll get them to move it around to the other side if you want. Oh, I bought you some tapes and a tape recorder. I thought you might like to listen to some music when you're in here. And I got some stories as well. I hope that you like them. They, um, they didn't have any medical journals on tape. Let's put them up here. Fraser, how are we today, hmm? God, save us. It's a bit rough. I can do that if you like. All done. The stroke team will be here in half an hour to start him on his rehab program. Nice to know they're sensitive Karen types. G'day, Dale. How you feeling today? Oh, you got a bit more colour back in your chops. That's good to see. Hey. Say it again. <laughs> Olivia? Oh. She's fine. She's fine. I'm half an hour are looking after her. She misses her dad, though. <laughs> well, this is marvellous news. Just what we wanted to hear. Now, the rehab team will be in shortly. They'll be going through all of this with you. I just came to tell you I've been talking to your father. We're waiting for a bed to become available in a rehab hospital. Thank you. Uh, just waiting on Professor Dunson to give the OK. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a place a little less institutional than this. 
There's a limit to the amount of time one can retain one's sanity in a hospital ward. But you do realize, don't you, that as hopeful as we all are, you'll make a good recovery. We don't know whether or not it'll be complete. You could be immobilized for quite some time. Dr. Burgess, could I have a word with you, please? Of course. Outside? Certainly. Couldn't you have been a little bit more optimistic? He's laying in there, unable to move. He can barely talk. He knows what's wrong with him, and all you can do is remind him that he might never recover. I presented him with the fact. Well, couldn't you have said something else? Couldn't you have... Lied? <laughs> Miss Fraser... Richards. We're not married. Miss Richards. Now, it distresses me almost as much as it does you to see the son of a colleague I've admired and respected for years in such a condition. But Lachlan is a doctor, like his father. If I tried to paint a rosy picture of what's in store for him, he'd see through it like a flash. It can't be as bad as everyone's making it out to be. He can get better. Huh? Yes, he could. But Lachlan has sustained severe injury to the brain. And regardless of what any of us would like to believe, the road ahead is going to be long and painful. Now, the rehabilitation team have already started speech therapy and physio with him, and they're positive he's going to improve. But it will be a long time before we know just how far his recovery will go. The brain is a complex organ. He could recover completely or he could end up paralysed for the rest of his life. We just don't know. He will recover. I know that he will. Because he won't just lay in there and let his life slip through his fingers. Look, he's a fighter. It spoke to Simon, the physio. And um, he's a lot more positive than Dr. Burgess. Anyway, he's going to make up a list of exercises that you and I could do together while you're in here. Nothing major, just little things like working on the muscles in your hands and your feet and that. And he reckons the more exercise you do, the quicker you'll recover. What? No, just, just take it slowly. Don't try and force it. Just let it come naturally. That's a boy. For God's sake, Irene, he's not a child. He can understand us. We're the ones that can't understand him. It's time for your bath, Dr. Fraser. I'll see you when you get back. I didn't mean to snap at you. Oh, sweetheart. If it makes you feel any better, you snap at me all you like, okay? Now, we'll just tuck this in, Mr. Fraser, so you don't go dirting yourself all over again. There we go. Uh, excuse me, nurse. Um, he's not a kid, and it's Dr. Fraser. I'm sorry if I offended you, Dr. Fraser. I was just going to suggest you try brushing your teeth yourself after you've eaten. Or maybe you could help him if he can't manage. Sure. Love, I'm, uh, I'm going to head down to the canteen, so if you need anything, just give us a hoy, OK? Done very well, but I think you've done enough for one day. There you go. I know it's hard, babe, but you know, over time it will get easier. I promise.
I love you more than you could possibly imagine right now, and that's all that matters. I can't imagine how frustrating it must be not being able to say what you want to say. But it won't always be like this, okay? We'll get through it, I promise. Anyway, I'd better go. Um, they'll kick me out. They're bringing me dinner soon. I'll come back later. exhaust yourself, okay? <sighs> oh, why can't I get the words out? Right now, I think all I want to do is die. <laughs> <laughs>